Today is Tuesday, which is the 16th, and on the 12th, I completed my first month of monetization on YouTube. Now, I've held off an extra couple of days because the monetization lags by two days. So I needed to wait for the income to catch up so they got a more accurate um, a more accurate look at what it was I actually earned. I'm going to break this up into several sections because there's quite a lot to talk about and I, I will end this on how much I actually made. But I want to talk about th talk through the process of it first because it's really rather complicated. So I got monetized on the 12th of December and then you have to go through these really long processes um, to get properly registered so you can receive your money. Google is an American company so you have to register your tax status and you have to fill out forms online for that. It doesn't take long, but I had to use some of the help icons to understand what I was applying for because it's all numbers and it makes no sense to me. And so you have to register, you have to prove who you are, where you live. To prove where you live, you have to put in your details and then Google sends you a card through the post with a code number on and you put that code number into the Google AdSense section, which is where um, the ads get, and all the money gets processed for YouTube because Google owns YouTube. So you have to wait three, like, three weeks for that. So I re registered for that before Christmas. It takes about three weeks to turn up, and of course it turned up while I was away for Christmas. So it sat there until I got back in the new year. So this process has probably taken a bit longer than it should. You've registered for tax status. You have to then prove your bank account, which means them putting um, a few pence into your bank account. And then once that appears on your bank statement, which apparently takes three days, and I'm still waiting for that one, you put that amount into Google that proves your bank account. So you have to go through this long process. So it's now, today is now the 15th of January and I still haven't completed the entire process um, to be able to receive my money. And then there are only, the money only gets sent through on certain days. I think it's something like the 21st of the month. But I think, I also read somewhere that it takes a month to process it. So I may not get this money this month I might have to wait till February I'll have to let you know on that one there are some really good things actually about being monetized on YouTube you get more information so the analytics are more interesting I can see much more information I can see more detail about which videos are getting traffic I can see how much each video is made you also get a free music library lots and lots of music, lots of music clips that run anything up to about four minutes that you can use on your YouTube channel. So no longer do I need to scrabble around on YouTube looking for copyright free music, then having to copy all the copyright information into the description, I can just use that music. And there's a really good variety, all different genre, all different genres, all different um, styles, there's always something. So I've really liked that, I have to say. Um, uh, gamification. I'm really big on analytics and numbers. I'm not a maths person, but I'm massively into spreadsheets and logging numbers. So being able to see all this information coming through is really interesting to me. But it does kind of gamify YouTube now. So when you have a channel, you're always looking at the numbers, you're looking at the views, you're looking at how many people have joined. But when, they've, when they add the extra layer of money onto it, you have to keep yourself in check if you want to be a genuine, organic channel. You have to make sure that you're not just making content because it's going to get you a few, few extra quid in the bank. So that's something to watch. 
I am going to keep posting as normal. Um, I don't really know which videos are going to do really well because all my all the videos that did the best for me last year were before I was monetized. However, last year I heard about something called evergreen videos. And all that basically means is that you're making content which doesn't age. So if you are if you are running a channel that is reactive to say the news, to politics, um, that means that it's very much it fits into a certain time. And with channels like mine, and there are lots of channels that are like mine, a lot of what these videos are is, it stands the test of time. So uh, let's say, um, Towards the end of last year, I found a new channel called Live It Like Lauren, which is exactly my kind of channel. It's day in the life, point and shoot, it's very straightforward, it's very honest, and that's what I love. And I went right back through her catalogue of videos for 2023, because she's been vlogging for, I think, 10 years or something. So I haven't gone back that far, that's a lot to watch. But I did go all the way back to the beginning of 2023 and it was still, it was still relevant. It was really interesting and it helped to give me a backstory to her life that meant that watching her videos now makes more sense. And I have had comments here on this channel from people who said, I've just discovered your channel and I've gone right back to the beginning and started watching from the beginning. Now, from a monetization point of view, that's great because it means that videos that I made, say, six months ago, may now be starting to earn some money. And there's one video in particular that I posted back in October. And it was about um, if you're over 50 and if you're disabled, DWP might be coming for you and it was about how they're trying to push the over 50s back into work because uh, too many of them are out of work mostly because of ageism, ageism in the workplace and how they're trying to push as many disabled people into work as possible um, but you try finding the the work from home jobs that allow for that or give the access for that and that is my best earning video to date even though I posted it two months before I got monetized, because it's still relevant. DWP is still very relevant. Benefit issues and everything surrounding that is still very relevant. Um, getting a job where you're over 50 is still relevant. Trying to get a job or not lose your benefits when you have a disability or health issues that prevent you from working full time is still very much an issue. And particularly where we are having the still having the transition from working tax credits to universal credit is still very relevant. So when I look at the stats for this video, and I'll put that on screen now so you can see, you can see where it started back in October, and it's a relatively quick climb. But you can see how over time it has continued to gain traffic it continues to get interest and the revenue for that has been since December and that's my best paying video so evergreen videos if you're a small channel and particularly if you're making things about your day-to-day -day life it's still relevant and if you use the end cards the end screens that come up at the end of a video where you'll get other recommendations and a subscribe button and a support me button if you are a small channel, you can add you can add playlists of your own, you can recommend videos that you think you want to push, or you can allow YouTube to do its own recommendations, which means based on the way the algorithms are working and the way it sees people, viewers, reacting to your channel and individual videos, it'll recommend something to them 
that it thinks they will be interested in and that would be based on other things they've watched and this is why ad blocking is bad blocking traffic on sites like YouTube means that YouTube can't get a handle on you and it can't recommend you stuff that you would like however the advertising is a real drain on your enjoyment of YouTube they've recently enforced the anti ad block um, software on YouTube so now my ad block which I've been happily using for years now now lo no longer works I added a new one called ghostery which did work for a bit and now sort of works it's weird some days it works and some days it doesn't there are some days where whatever video I watch every three or four or five minutes I'm having to skip an ad and that drives me insane and sometimes I will just click off the video because I can't stand it anymore it's irritating as anything and there are other days where I don't get no videos at all and I don't know if that's got anything to do with the fact that I'm not running on Wi-Fi I don't have Wi-Fi at home I run on 4G's I toggle my mobile phone to my laptop and I do everything on 4G and I think with 4G it's something to do with it can't locate where you are your IP address keeps moving or something because they say that 4G is more secure than Wi-Fi because it's hard for them to pin you down. So I don't know whether that has anything to do with it. Um, I've watched a few videos this morning, not a single ad. Yesterday I was plagued with them. So I don't know whether it's the individual channels. It might be. Well, I don't know if it's the uh, just the way the IP addresses are working. I have no idea. So it's a real love-hate relationship with YouTube at the moment because I realise that it's the ads that are paying me the money. But I also realise it's the ads that ruins the enjoyment of YouTube. So I'm very mixed on how I feel about that. But either way, it is what it is. And I know that there are people, lots of people are happy to watch the advert because it means that they are donating to a channel without having to physically donate. It's not like I'm asking for money. You watch an ad, pence go into my account. And that builds up over time. So the question is, how much did I earn? Now I googled this, couldn't help it. I wanted to get a rough idea how much I might make and I've watched a couple of videos from small channels like mine where they got monetized, they got their 1000 uh, subscribers, they had their 4000 hours and I got a rough idea what they were getting but their channels were very different from mine and it can take all different lengths of time. Mine took a year short of two days to get monetized. There are channels which have taken four years to get monetized but get a lot more money than me. There are channels that monetized in a much shorter amount of time. So I wasn't sure whether I would be earning pence per day, a couple of quid per day. I've heard that you can get on average between two and four pounds a day. My revenue for month one came to 201 pounds and 27 pence and that's based on a low level of traffic because right at the point where I got monetized my traffic started to drop now that could be all sorts of reasons it could be a massive coincidence it might be a YouTube algorithm thing I'm quite distrusting so I will look at that and go oh well YouTube's realized I'm making money now it's going to take all my traffic away but it could be because we were building up to Christmas it could be that I hadn't posted uh, within that time anything about universal credit I hadn't posted um, any 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 of the stuff that gets people riled that, that brings in the angry commenters that pay, or sometimes it brings in the trolls I mean the trolls are making me money as well 
if they're clicking on a video they're probably giving me money <coughs> excuse me um, there are so many things it could be but as you will see from the graph that I'm going to put up on the screen traffic has dropped a lot and yet I have made £201.27 now when I said earlier about not gamifying YouTube I look at these figures and think well that's good money for a month if I get that every month I'm looking at about I don't know £1,700 a year that's what I make in interest on my savings every year and I'm just posting YouTube videos about my life that's really good but then I look at it and think well could I make videos that get a few more viewers in and that's what I want to avoid now when I mentioned about the evergreen so as new people join the channel they are likely to go back and look at my library of videos and when they do that that means those older videos will start monetizing even though I made them way back so there's always that as well my subscriber list has grown since the 12th of December when I hit 1000 subscribers I have gained 752 new subscribers to date and that's fantastic that is great however subscribers if I look at the analytics subscribers are not the people who are making the money it's the people who drop in and watch one video and leave so I need to keep making a range of videos about different things now there's a limit I am only making this about my life and I don't want to divert from that purely to make money that is not how this is going to work I'm going to keep posting in exactly the same way I have always been posting I will keep talking about my day-to-day -day life frugal living uh, my experiences with Universal Credit with the DWP because that's part of my life and I like giving advice on that I have had a few people ask me to do videos on certain aspects of Universal Credit and they ask questions about my experiences so far for people who are waiting for that managed transition from working tax credits to Universal Credit and I'm happy to give my honest opinion on that because there's a lot of different opinions around on how this works and I can only give my opinion my experience has been very good and I was surprised about that I thought a I wasn't going to get accepted and B that they would be awful people and treat me really badly so far none of that has happened but universal credit is not the lifeline for me that it is for some other people if I don't get it if they knock me off the universal credit list and say you can't have this anymore I will just go and find other work elsewhere and I will do that anyway because the idea is that within my startup year which will end in September according to their numbers <coughs> excuse me I want to be able to say I've reached that minimum income where I'm no longer getting universal credit this is a the startup year is a transitional year to help you go from working tax credits onto universal credit so this I, I am doing that process I am doing that year now because I now have YouTube and based on all of last year's income I've made up a little bit on my spreadsheet to give me an idea of my possible income for 2024 and it looks good it looks better so 2022 I barely earned 9,000 pounds last year it was over it was just over 14,000 if things go well this year I could be adding another four or five thousand pounds into my pot which is more money than I've earned since 2008 and that will be more than enough that means I can ramp up my savings accounts I can chuck some extra money into the new uh, private pension which I've just opened up um, and I am going to do videos on that as and when it happens 
I've sent off my application form, haven't heard a thing, but it's only been maybe two weeks, week and a half. So I'm going to do things on that as well. My experience being a very late bloomer when it comes to private pensions. So there's all these wonderful things to come, which will also be evergreen videos, because if I talk about private pensions, they're always going to be relevant. Pensions are very relevant. Retirement, not starving to death on the Walmart floor, as they say, is always going to be relevant. So if you're interested in any of those things, frugality, the benefit system, a little bit of politics, but we don't go mad on it. Budget gardening. I don't have a garden, but I have pots and I have indoor. So there'll be a little bit of that. Um, if you're interested in maybe starting your own little mini YouTube channel and you're looking for how you can do that and what you might expect, this might also be perfect for you. So subscribe. <laughs> and that's not a cheap gimmick just to get you to subscribe. Um, It'll mean that, and if you hit the notifications thing, it'll mean that when you go into your subscriptions list on the, the on the menu at the side, you'll see when I've posted up new videos. And I try to post... I went through a phase where I was only posting a couple of times a week when I first started. And then sometimes things get really busy and I end up with lots to talk about. And I try to divide it up. So there were times late last year where I was putting a video up every day which has probably pushed me quicker towards monetization. At the moment I'm thinking things are a little bit quieter. I think I'm going to go back to just posting, well to posting every other day. But I might not always be able to do that. I, I tend to keep a week diary of little bits and pieces which I stitch together into a like a week in the life but in between that there are things like this where I'm talking about the monetization. That's a separate thing on its own. Um, and there will be all sorts of, like I did the vintage one last week about, oh, might be a couple of weeks ago now, January is flying, about me getting all that stuff that I've been given onto vintage. And there will be occasions where I'm talking about very specific things, like my car insurance is due this month and that's gone through the roof. How am I going to negotiate that down to a more sensible amount of money? I'm going to try again to do end of month, um, financial roundups but again it depends on what's going on that month there are some months where there's nothing really much to talk about my supermarket hauls will always be there but they're very quick they're very short and sweet so they tend to go into the weekly diaries anyway slightly off topic but also it's how I'm thinking about making these evergreen videos making content that's relevant that the people who are now following me and commenting how it makes sense how people are learning from the recipes I do, which are entirely designed to be budget. My, most of my cake recipes have no eggs. Eggs are expensive. A lot of my recipes come from um, a website that specialises in wartime baking. So a lot of them are rationing recipes, perfect when you're in a cost of living crisis. And there are lots of little things that I do, like how to long-term store vegetables. Um, how to bottle fruit, all that sort of thing. And these are really useful things if you are struggling on a, on a tight food budget and you're trying to make things go longer, if you're trying to um, save your food effectively so that you always have things in stock because you don't have to keep fresh things fresh. It might be that a lot of stuff can be frozen, that sort of thing. So these are very relevant videos for at least the next year going forward. Cost of living, economic problems never goes away. So I hope that's been useful. I'm probably going to do, well I will do, one of these videos every month. I reckon that if my traffic continues as it is, I will be averaging probably about £150 a month on YouTube, depending on what I post, depending on how YouTube decides to share my videos around. Um, when I get paid, I don't know. I might get paid this month. I think because I'm still waiting to finish the process, I might have missed the boat this month. I don't know how long payments take to process. I've heard it's quite a long time each month. So I may not get paid until February sometime, but I will keep you posted on that. So I hope that's been interesting. Um, yay, we're monetized. <laughs>
<laughs> we have the possibility of making a good side hustle out of YouTube and if I make 1700 a year out of YouTube that is a good side hustle for me because all my side hustles are quite small banking interest earns about 1700 um, there are other things that I'm obviously now doing which are earning more some earn less but they all go into the same pot and at the moment that's showing that I will be better off this year than last year and considerably better off than I was two years ago and it's the drip feed effect little bits here little bits there and if YouTube's gonna pay me to make the same stuff I've always been paid and it's useful to you and you're finding it interesting and entertaining or it helps you improve something in your life or find a money-saving hack what's wrong with that what is wrong with that so I hope you've enjoyed this I hope all the little graphs that go with it that I've uh, pulled off of my YouTube are interesting um, it makes it less boring than just looking at my face for half an hour anyway <laughs> so I'm gonna go I've got a warm cup of tea it's really cold and I'm gonna go and put my big green hoodie thing on now that I've finished my video I'm going to get into my snuggly wear and edit this video and get that out and you will be seeing this on Tuesday afternoon. So I hope you're going to have a good week. I hope your Monday started well. I hope your Tuesday is okay. I hope you're not struggling with snow, um, freezing temperatures, all that stuff. Winter. Joy. Catch you soon. <laughs>